Hello and welcome to 3MB Gaming. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the Trijicon ACOG, specifically the model TA31A4RCO. We're going to compare the real ACOG to a replica produced by Evolution Gear. Uh, full disclosure, this video is not sponsored by either Trijicon or Evolution Gear. So, as you may have noticed, we have two pretty similar boxes, the Evolution Gear replica and the real ACOG. The Evolution Gear doesn't come in a Trijicon case, but I did buy that specifically for this video. I also bought that uh, to kind of illustrate uh, how easy it is to kind of fake one. So, I'll get into that in just a moment. To begin with, the Trijicon ACOG is a battle-proven combat optic currently used by the U.S. military in various configurations throughout the different branches. Uh, today, we're focusing specifically on one model. Uh, as I mentioned, it's a TA-31A4RCO in use by the United States Marine Corps. The real, a uh, the real ACOG is illuminated by both fiber optic as well as tritium, which provides illumination in pretty much all lighting conditions. Uh, people in military service as well as civilians have taken to putting electrical tape, as you can see here, over a portion of the fiber to prevent bloom in bright light. Uh, the Evolution Gear TA31 is honestly the closest I've personally seen a replica come to the real thing externally. Uh, there are a few minor inaccuracies, which we'll get into in a moment, but construction is pretty spot on. From the coloration to the small details, the replica has a rock-solid feel to it. Now, I probably wouldn't recommend uh, using it on anything with more recoil than a 22 lr in real steel, though many few... Uh, many people have claimed to use it on their 5.56 ARs with little issue. I'm not sure if I'd trust it for very many shots, though. I bought this one specifically for airsoft use, uh, which is to go on my GP, uh, I'm sorry, GNP M16A4 AEG. Um, I've also heard reports from gas blowback users and HPA users that it actually works pretty flawlessly. So, as far as uh, various trademarks are concerned, the Evolution Gear is really the first uh, replica that has the proper lettering for the ACOG logo on the side of the optic. Uh, it appears that it was actually cast as part of the body, which provides a, a spot-on look. Below that, we have the ACOG 4x32 embossed lettering. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera very well. I'm trying to get it in there. Um, but it's located in the same position as is on the real thing. So, moving on to the left side you'll see that there is a fake QR code and a generic serial number. Uh, take a look, the serial number is 516209, as well as the tritium disclaimer. Now, just letting you know, of course, this replica does not contain any tritium, uh, so the warning is cosmetic only. Uh, below that, cast into the body as well, are the uh, made in USA markings. Moving up to the top, we actually have the fiber optic tube, which is pinned in place via a small metal pin. Most clones don't do this opting instead to simply hot glue the fiber optic in place. Behind the fiber optics, of course, there's another detail if I can get the camera to kind of focus in on it. You'll see it. Uh, right here, you might be able to see it. It's going to be a little blurred out, not intentionally, but it actually has another serial number, which is stamped into the eyepiece as well as the housing. Um, serial number on this one is 756818, just like on the real thing. Um, punching those numbers into tr the Trojicon website will return them as being fake. Um, another thing that most companies don't do are these. These little wires hold the um, adjustment knob caps in place, so they can't get lost. Um, again, same thing goes on the real steel. Um, under the cap, go ahead and take this off for you. So underneath the cap, you'll actually find the adjustment knobs for both windage and elevation. Are they not just a slotted screwdriver? They're actually knobs that you can kind of adjust on the fly, which I actually really, really like. So, 
other than that, the ARD, the uh, anti-reflective device, also known as the ACOG Kill Flash, that was included in this one, was actually pretty good, and I was able to actually screw in a lens protector, which is just a little 32 millimeter piece of um, uh, Lexan behind the actual anti-flash device. So, if we go ahead and unscrew this, Try to do this on camera for you. You'll see in there, there's a nice piece of Lexan that I was able to hide right behind the uh, honeycomb for the kill flash. And that actually sticks in there pretty nicely. So, as you can see externally, it's pretty darn good. Internally, it's very hard for me to show on video. Uh, I'll try to see if I can get some pictures uh, through the lens, but the glass is very, very clear. Um, there's only a very minor discoloration, which is a lot less than some other uh, replicas that I've seen and owned in the past. So, and really the only other thing it's missing is a model number that's etched below the field of view. But hey, for a site that costs less than 200 bucks, this thing is pretty darn impressive. So, of course, that actually brings us to the other part of the video and other thing that I, some other thing that I wanted to talk. So that brings us to another part of the video and something else I really wanted to talk about. The nice Trigicon case you see here that I bought for the video is not what the replica normally comes in. It actually normally comes in a little brown box that just says Evolution Gear has a model number. Uh, a couple small things that have a check mark for like red or green, whatever color fiber you may have bought. Um, I actually bought this case here on eBay for about 40 bucks. And inside, it actually comes with pretty much everything that you really have in an ACOG's box. Your lens pen, owner's manual, and the scope coat, as well as the sticker, but I've currently put the sticker on something else. Now, the reason I went ahead and did this is because if you're looking at buying the real steel ACOG, the, tr the, rep the replica that I have here is actually pretty darn close, and you may see people trying to scam others with it. Um, as far as this box goes, I actually mocked up, uh, probably not going to show up on video too well, but I did end up mocking up the actual label here. Uh, there we go. You can kind of see it there. In fact, let me spin it around just so it's easier to read for y'all. There you go. So I mocked that up. It has the actual serial number, the fake serial number that's on top of the site on it. It also has all the same warnings as a real steel. So I kind of did that. So when you're looking at buying a used or heck, even a new ACOG, it'll really kind of show you that it's very easy to get taken by a fake. Um, so what I would recommend doing is before you give any money to any seller, whether it be new or pre or or pre-owned, especially pre-owned, ask for the serial number. If they won't give it to you, I wouldn't buy it. But in this case, punching either 756818 or 518209 into the serial number check on Trigicon's website will actually show that this is not a valid serial number. It was used in scams and uh, in counterfeit products. And of course, with the rise of scams and selling uh, in selling outlets and on different forums, just be sure you know what you're actually buying. Um, if you're buying brand new, of course, only buy from uh, trusted retailers and authorized retailers. And of course, when buying used, just remember the old adage, adage is usually correct. If it seems too good to be true, it usually is. Hey, thanks for watching. This is Annette Lobster, signing out.